Hello everyone, welcome to the Composite Hub. In the previous video, we looked at the two parts that make up a composite material, the reinforcement and the matrix. In today's video, we will look at how these combine together to give us a superior material. First of all, we will look at the reinforcement. Now typically this is made up of long fibres, but why is this the case? If we were to use a large block of material, we would expect to find small cracks or defects to be present that can affect the material strength. By shrinking this material down to a tiny narrow fibre, smaller than a human hair, we are able to remove these defects and thus create a stronger material. However, these fibres alone are not effective at carrying loads. If we pull on the fibres, they are still strong enough to carry the load, but if we try pushing them, they will just collapse upon themselves. Now this is where the matrix comes in. The matrix acts as a kind of glue, binding the fibres together and allowing the loads to be shared equally between them. The matrix also acts as a protective shield, guarding the important fibres within from damage. So we now have our fibre and matrix combined, but we don't really have a useful material. You see, it's only really effective in the direction of the fibres. We therefore stack multiple layers of the material in different directions to ensure that we have the fibres in the directions that we want them. Now unlike metals, which have the same properties in every direction, we now only have the material where we actually need it, resulting in a lighter structure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to learn more about composites, subscribe to the Composite Hub.